It's unnatural. It's against God's plan. It's outrageous. I'm not going to ask you what, because you're just going to tell me anyway. Oh, come on. It's more fun when you ask. It's a crime against God's law. You're not even in the least bit curious? Nope. Look, there's a pattern that these videos follow. I get upset, you ask me why, and then you get upset. My doctor said for me to stop talking to you and asking you what's wrong. Why, blood pressure? No, he's afraid I'll commit murder. Fine. Hey, you, pervert. It's an outrage, I tells ya. Did he just call me a pervert? I don't know. I'm trying not to engage him. Yes, I did. Gary, I am outraged. Science has gone too far. What are you talking about? Why did you... Artificial human augmentation. That's what I'm talking about. It's an abomination. You just had to ask. Okay, okay. Against doctor's orders, I'm asking you, what is so wrong about artificial human augmentation? It's like the old expression, if God wanted us augmented artificially, he would have made us that way in the first place. What are you talking about? Thanks to your bitch goddess science, we are rapidly approaching a day when people will be able to change their eye color, maybe become taller, see farther, Combine that with artificial limbs and wetware, and we're talking about a future populated by godless cyborgs. You read my pamphlet. I was constipated, and it was the only thing to read in the bathroom. Anyway, if what AJ has predicted comes true, it's a crime against God. God made us perfect. Any modifications are a sin. Thanks, AJ. What? I was only predicting a future where science creates a human race that's been augmented both genetically and mechanically. It's inevitable. Super strength. Speed. Wetware so we can surf the internet with our minds. It's our only hope if we're going to win the fight against the lizard people. Conspiracy theories aside, I think AJ is right. I mean, eventually people will be able to augment themselves. I can't wait. There are a number of spots on my body that needs about a gajillion more pleasure sensors. Well, I would get my hair to grow back. I mean... Maybe even in a different color, like purple. And I'd have a bigger d Like three feet long with racing flames on it. Gross. Hey, that's what I mean. It's a crime against God. Like I said, we are perfect. We don't need any machines or gene crap. You don't mean that. Yes, I do. We should trust God's perfect design. We don't need bionic arms or super hearing. We don't need anything artificial at all! Oh, okay, then... Take your contact lenses off. What? Yeah! Take your contact lenses off! They're artificial! I meant machines! Uh, besides, I look terrible in my glasses. Well, you wouldn't be able to use those either. That's not the same thing! Were they made by God? Well, no. Then you should trust in God's design and take out your contacts and throw away your glasses. I mean, if you truly believe what you just said. And while you're at it, make sure that no one in your family uses a wheelchair, pacemaker, hearing aid, or sunglasses. Hell, even clothes are an artificial way to keep you warm. I mean, that is what God would want, right? Right. I'm going to go take out my contacts, you bunch of jerkwads. What do you think? Is artificial human augmentation a bad thing? Or is it the next step in the natural progression of human development? Comment or create a video response. Oh, okay, here he comes. See? God's mighty design is proven... Wait, where are God's mighty... Ow! I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm fine. I want to say something to the viewers. Don't 
doubt God's powers, kids. The camera's this way. Oh, right, right, right. Don't doubt God's powers, kids. Uh, more over here, Fundy. Oh, oh, okay. Kids, God's design is the most perfect. Move closer to the camera. Oh, right. You see, kids, God has a plan for all of us. And... Ugh, ah! Sorry. Sorry about that. Raul, I need my glasses. Howdy, my buckaroos and buckarets. Today is November the 18th, 2011, and it's Married to a Scorpio Day, Mickey Mouse Day, and Push Button Phone Day? Who needs a day for push button phones? Are there really people out there that are still using rotary phones? I mean, who, who does that? Probably the only people who use rotary phones right now are uh, uh, old women with lots of cats and um, uh, hipsters trying to be ironic. First and foremost, Ariel had her procedure and uh, she had biopsies done and the results are negative for any new kind of cancer and it looks like that the aspergillus that they uh, found traces of was very, very light. She was transferred back to Children's Hospital Oakland last night and we'll get her chemo treatment this weekend and hopefully we'll be back in time for Thanksgiving, probably back home on Monday. So thanks to everyone who wished her, me, and the family well. Second, here's something that you probably don't hear every day. Life-saving staph infection. Uh, the doctors believe that the reason why um, the aspergillus that Ari was infected with, um, that the reason it didn't invade the tissues in her nasal cavity was because um, she had a staph infection beforehand. Uh, let's go to the bad drawing of science. Because the staph was already on the surface, the aspergillus couldn't penetrate into her tissues where it could do a lot of damage and spread throughout her other systems. Thus, the staph acted like a barrier. Weird, huh? Third, lots of stuff planned for next week, but I will be off next Friday for a Turkey Day weekend. Um, I would like to thank Purple Ghost for the topic suggestion. Remember, if you have a topic that you want to suggest, please write it down in double-coded script and slip that into the purse of a double agent. She will then smuggle it to an undisclosed location where a team of experts will decipher your code and then send that suggestion to me. Or you could PM me. There's less espionage involved. Fourth, that's it. Until next week, this has been, and always will be, Jason with a D. There are lots of people who still play old school D&D &D and I don't appreciate being mocked. Yes, I also LARP. What? It's fun! Currently, I LARP as a 10th level sorcerer and I play as a 7th level tiefling elf rogue when I'm doing a dungeon crawl. Stop snickering! What? Oh, hello fellow dungeon crawlers. Now we say thanks to the new subs. Thanks! Al Hai Fala Nashuba. Is that one of the unforgivable curses from Harry Potter? Happy person! One, two, three, four, five, six! It's comforting to know that there are 123,456 happy people on YouTube. Out of how many million sad ones? Oh man. Now I'm depressed. Carnivorous biped. Ooh, like a T Rex? Or, or maybe like a, a secretary bird? Or, or maybe a wolf that's had its front legs cut off and learned to walk on his hind legs only. Huh? Humans? Yeah, humans are bipedal, but they're omnivores. Da bookworm. Um, bookworm, you might want to read some of those books you're eating. You kind of spelled the wrong. And worm, too. Unless you're like J.R.R. Tolkien. Are you J.R.R. Tolkien? If you are, then do you LARP? Czar Robber Fly. Who knew that there's a robber fly hierarchy? You live and you learn, and then you die. 
Oh man, I'm depressed again. Well, that's it from me. Remember, if you subbed and you didn't get a shout out, be sure to PM Jason and let him know. Did you hear me, Otto Kogoro Shibobo? Did you hear me, Otto Kogor Oshi? PM Jason. Your comments could get overlooked. PM him. I say it almost every week. Until next time, folks. So yeah, I like D&D and I like LARPing. Got a beef with that? Oh, don't make me magic missile your ass.